from the campus studios of Sarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hi, dear listeners. Welcome again to Ropecast. I'm Peter Tischer, and I'm back with David Erent from last time. You remember him? He works as a French teacher from France in Aalto University uh, near Helsinki in Finland. And hi again, David. Hi, thanks for having me again. Yeah, glad to have you. And we wanted to go on a little bit about this English as a lingua franca in yes. Finland. And um, you told us last time that you can get by with English basically for years in the workplace in Finland, right? Yes. Without yeah. ever knowing, you know, more than two words of, of the local language. And I was thinking, don't the people over there feel sort of threatened by the English language that way? Um, ha! <laughs> <laughs> A very interesting question. Um, well, some people do. Some people do. Some people don't. Mm -hmm. um, some people just consider English as a tool, a means of communication, and um, they, uh, they just use it and finishes their language and English is their tool. Mm -hmm. um, but some people at work, especially, I can, I can notice that some people feel definitely threatened and some people complain that there's too much English in meetings. We uh, we have this habit of um, using slides in one language and uh, speaking in the other language. So if the slides are in Finnish, then the person is going to speak uh, in English and vice versa. But there's always someone who complains about that. Okay. Uh, but you weren't complaining because I'm asking you this as a Frenchman. Now, I know there is a pretty old law by now, la loi tout bon, yeah. um, that is a law against too much non-French in the public space officially, but of course this is basically a law against English. I know how the French Canadians... Oh, it's not a law against English, <laughs> it's a law against... No, no, it's not against anything. Yeah, it's well, no... it, it, it's, that... You're not using too much <laughs> German in France, are you? <laughs> <laughs> but and if that, we were, it would be treated the same way. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> but I can also quote the Canadians who um, have fought through a law how everything has to be bilingual yeah. in Canada. So apparently, uh, people with a French cultural background who are much more numerous, they feel threatened by English. They even pass laws against that. Finland apparently doesn't. Could you explain that? Um, well, it's difficult for me to to uh, describe the, the how Finns feel about it. What I can tell you is that I'm in a very delicate situation because I, as a Frenchman, I would be defending Finnish against English, saying, yeah, Finnish uh, is... <laughs> the language of the country, so why is uh, English everywhere? Uh, but at the same time, I really needed English to survive. <laughs> so without that possibility, it would have been really difficult to adapt. But, but, but now that you have gone through the pain of learning now Finnish, finally, now you're defending it. <laughs> now finally I can say, there's too much English at work. <laughs> no, there's always... Um, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's again, there is this idea that there is the tool and there is the actual language. But the people who should feel threatened are the Swedish speakers. Ah, is that even worse in Sweden then? They, no, the I'm, I'm talking with the, the um, Swedish-speaking Finns. Ah, the minority. Yes. Ah, okay. Um, Alto is officially trilingual. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Uh, Alto University. Alto University, yeah. You you can use Finnish, English, or Swedish, and this order is intentional. Uh, it should be Finnish, Swedish, English, but uh, in actuality, it is uh, English before Swedish. Uh, okay. 
Very interesting. I would like to ask you one last question. Please do. How come you speak English so well? Uh, TV. TV. Yes. I was betting when I heard you uh, f f talk for the first time. You like sitcoms? I do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that um, what you watch primarily? Uh, I used to. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I think it's mostly TV and music. Yeah. Okay, music as well. Yes, uh, pop music. As a teenager, I would like to learn the lyrics. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So here you have it, folks. We can give you a piece of advice for learning. Watch more TV shows in English. Sing along to English songs. That'll help you definitely, especially if you emigrate to Finland to work. David, thank you so much for being on this program. Thank you for having me. And hope you'll be back sometime. Oh, definitely. Great. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.